After you import the Gaia package, you can open the Gaia Manager and visit the Setup tab to check for potential issues with your project. If you are not running the built-in rendering pipeline, you can switch to a different render pipeline from the Setup tab as well. Let's create your first world from the Gaia Manager. When creating a new world with Gaia, you can choose between two different workflows. The two workflows are the World Designer, which allows you to generate a complete world from a few input parameters, and Manual Editing with the Stamper. This allows you to place features like mountains and valleys down bit by bit until you have a fully featured terrain. Please note that the Stamper can also be added to your scene anytime to edit an already existing terrain. So there is always the option to make adjustments later on during development. Let's start to create a world with the World Designer. Select the World Designer workflow in the Gaia Manager and click Create World Designer. You will see a preview rendering of the world you are about to create in the Scene View window. The world is being generated by taking a rough base shape and applying terrain features like mountains and valleys to it, so that it looks like a real-world terrain. For now, just click Randomize All a few times until you see a terrain shape you like, and then click Generate World. The preview you were seeing before is now turned into a Unity terrain, and textures based on the chosen biome are being applied automatically. When this step is finished, click on the Spawn Biome button to populate the terrain with vegetation and additional assets. And that's it! You just created your first terrain using Gaia. To make your world look better, you can choose to add runtime features such as water and lighting to your scene from the Runtime tab. Runtime elements such as lighting can be customized to adjust the final look and feel of your scene. Please note that using the Gaia Runtime is entirely optional. If you, for example, want to use a different water asset in your scene, switch off the Gaia Water from the Runtime and then add in the third-party water asset. Gaia produces standard Unity terrain as output, so other environment assets should just work with it if you treat the Gaia terrains as if you made them in the Unity editor yourself. Contents such as trees and terrain textures are added to the world through spawners. Spawners can have one or more spawn rules that determine which assets are being spawned. Multiple spawners can be grouped together in a biome to spawn matching assets together in an area. When you create a world while having a biome selected, Gaia will automatically add this biome with its spawner for you during the world creation. But it is also possible to load additional biomes and spawners from the Advanced tab in the Gaia Manager at any time. You can fully customize what assets are used in a spawner and where those assets will appear on the terrain. If you want to exchange assets, you can do so by opening the spawn rule you want to edit. In there, look at the resource settings and you will find a reference to the used asset. Simply drag in a different asset and it will be replaced. The eye icon enables a visualization for the spawn rule. The color on the terrain will tell you where the asset from this rule will be spawned. Without restrictions, an asset can be spawned everywhere on the terrain. You can add masks that restrict the placement, for example by height or by slope of the terrain. There are many different mask types available that can be connected to develop simple or complex spawn patterns. You do not need to rely on existing spawner settings in Gaia either. You can build your own spawner and biome settings from scratch by creating a new spawner or biome from the Advanced tab in the Gaia Manager. This was the quickest possible introduction to the basic functions of Gaia. Please note that there are more detailed tutorials and resources available from the Gaia Tutorials Overview page. The link can be found in the description of this video. Please also note that all Gaia tools have a question mark help icon that will display information about the available settings and will link to the online manual as well. If you are stuck with a problem, please come to Canopy and search our forums. Your question might have already been answered there. If not, please sign up and post about your issue. Our staff is monitoring the forum and is actively answering questions there. Have fun creating with Gaia and goodbye.